Hello there, before we go around this next property at Bryn Llewyd in Corris, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's subscribed to our YouTube channel, and in particular, even bigger thank you to all of you that have called into our office to come and see me, and most of the time to see Ruby. So it's good to see you. Please call in whenever you feel like it, and we'll get on now and show you around Bryn Llewyd here in Corris. Corris is a small village with a slate mining history situated on the fringe of the Snowdonia National Park. There's still a village pub and a post office and the scenery in the area is absolutely beautiful. A lot of tourists come in here because they come and visit King Arthur's Labyrinth and the Craft Centre here and there's also the Centre for Alternative Technology nearby too. The main local town is Mahuntlet. Like every property, Bryn Llewyd has got its attributes and its drawbacks. And I don't want to spoil your curiosity by showing you everything there is to see here, because I think you'll probably enjoy coming here yourself to see some of the surprises that it offers. Some of the good things are that for a start, you've got a sheep field next door, you've got no close residential neighbours, and the environment around here with the mountains and forests is absolutely beautiful. The other thing is, you've got a really big garden here and a house that's been nicely looked after but still retains some character attributes. The small drawbacks about the property are number one, it's on the main road, although it is well screened and set back a bit, and also it's on the Mac loop, so you are going to get some jets and things flying past now and then. This really is a cottage in the true sense of the word. It's stone built, it's got a slate roof, and we understand that there's over 200 years of history here. At one time, it was occupied by the head forester of the Marquis de Queensbury, and just on the other side of the road, there's an ancient milestone, and allegedly that's where the old stagecoaches used to halt and stop and drop people off. Let's go inside and I'll show you some of the features. As soon as we go into the entrance hall, you can see there's a panelled ceiling, staircase on the left, and Ruby's made herself at home here straight away, and I think you might do too. Off to the left of the hall here, we've got the dining room. It's surprisingly bright and light for a cottage. We've got this lovely big fireplace and dog grate, which is belting the heat out here. Just off the dining room, this door leads through to a small study on the side. It's a nice quiet spot in the house, and there's a lovely view down the garden, along the valley beyond. At the other end of the cottage, this is the formal lounge and the best room in the house. As well as the good natural lighting from the dual aspect windows, there's a beamed ceiling and a multi-fuel stove in here for the traditional appeal too. So that really is quite an extraordinary amount of living space there, with the usable reception hallway, lounge, dining room and a study. It's equally well balanced for the kitchen area as well, because over here we've got a util two utility areas and a downstairs shower room in addition to the kitchen. In the kitchen here, this is the door that leads out to the other utility stroke boot room, and that's got a door out to the garden as well. It's very practical to hang your coats there or put your shoes and all sorts of things can be hidden out of sight. I like the traditional appeal of this kitchen. It's got a quarry tile floor, which is very practical to keep clean. The oil-fired boiler is situated in here, and the modern units are nice and traditional too. There's also this big five burner gas cooking range. The ceiling spotlighting makes it feel nice and modern, and there's plenty of space under these worktops for fridges and freezers and things. So we're upstairs now, and it wouldn't be a cottage if there wasn't any creaky floorboards. If you go up into the loft, you'll actually see that there's hand-sawn timbers up there too. There's no compromise to be made with the space of the main bedroom, which is directly above the dining room. There's your view out the window. This is the smallest bedroom, which is used as a bunk room at the moment. There's another wooded outlook from the second bedroom.
And as well as a corner bath, everybody loves this arrow slit window. Apart from the good parking area at the side of Brinsluid, I think that's all I need to be showing you for the time being. If you'd like to come and have a look for yourself, or you'd like me to make a video like this of your own property if you're selling it, then please give us a call on the usual number, which is 01341 281 599. And if you'd like to be updated with future videos that we're doing, please make sure you follow the link with the picture of us all at the end of this video so you can subscribe. I'm Andy Sanderson. That was Ruby. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye now.